bear markets tend to come to an end. So the last bear market only lasted 365 days. This one is going to last a little bit longer because people decided to destroy their balance sheets and buy a second. They didn't want to do the normal blow off top bubble chart. They wanted to do a, an extra double bubble <clears throat> and this double bubble. Well, it, it didn't work. Am I bullish on crypto? Not yet. Now remember, Hex ran up 60x versus Bitcoin the first time it dumped from 65k down 55%. So Hex can totally decorrelate from Bitcoin. I think it was kind of bad timing that it looks correlated now because there was we had our own cycles, right? There were sacrifice phases, there was other things going on in our own cycles. And so I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Hex started doing the same things it used to do, which is just overperforming like crazy. We'll see. I don't have a crystal ball. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, do your own research, etc. But uh, I mean, even recently when you saw Bitcoin like break 120K, which people are really hoping for, they don't want to see, they don't like seeing Bitcoin under 20K. And then if you're a technical analyst, there's some things that say like support becomes resistance. What used to be resistance is support in theory, old 20K top, now 20K quote bottom, but actually didn't hold a 20K bottom at all. Didn't, didn't respect that at all, you know? I think as long as Grayscale Bitcoin's at a 33% discount, which it is, and they hold 1% of all Bitcoin, the Ethereum merge might be a buy the rumor, sell the news event. I mean, we see lending, people that are borrowing Ethereum uh, for the merge, they're paying like 15% uh, APY to do it. And so, you know, there's some people interested in playing this merge game. And I think traditionally in crypto, buy the rumor, sell the new stuff. It's pretty common, you know. And so with the risk that Bitcoin dumps due to either just not doing its 85% dump yet, which would put it, you know, a little bit under 11K and the 33% discount on Grayscale BTC, the Mt. Gox coins being released at some point. And then we've got the Bitfenix coins are trying to sell, which I think is like 94,000 coins or 80, 84,000 coins or something. And then we've got uh, Ross Ulbricht's coins, which I think is like 70,000 coins, somewhere between 54 and 74,000. Can't remember the exact number. I tweeted all these, so you can look these up. And then normal cycle dump, right? And then maybe buy the rumor, sell the news for merge. So in my mind, it's the dream bottom would be the grayscale discount goes away. Some of those free coins that are going to get released by law, like the Japanese ones at Mt. Gox, or going to get dumped as a matter of law, which would be the Olbert ones of Silk Road fame. And then it's up in the air whether the Bitfenix ones will really get sold or not. You know, they might get refunded or they might get sold. Who knows? And there's, I think there was 94,000 coins there. You could look it up. So the dream would be those coins get dumped. Bitcoin's deficit to net asset value and grayscale disappears and then it does its traditional 11k and pray 85 percent dump that's been a nice bottom and then if they raised interest rates oh boy that'd be nice too because as long as they keep doing quantitative tightening qt it pushes down the stock market stock market pushes down bitcoin bitcoin pushes down ethereum that's how it goes